Whitby has produced its own famous sons. Among these are Captain James Cook, the 18th century explorer and voyager who had set sail in the bark endeavour from Whitby. The outstanding father and son whaling masters of the Scoresby family and the pioneer photographer Frank Meadow Sutcliffe. Captain James Cook R.N. was an English explorer, navigator and cartographer. He made three voyages to the Pacific Ocean, accurately charting many areas and recording several islands and coastlines on European maps for the first time. His most notable accomplishments were the British discovery and claiming of the east coast of Australia, the European discovery of the Hawaiian Islands and the first circumnavigation and mapping of Newfoundland and New Zealand.
Whitby's skyline is dominated by the ruins of St. Hilda's Abbey, I on Whitby's east cliff, spreading below Whitby, a maze of alleyways and narrow streets, run down to the busy quayside. From the old town of Whitby, 199 steps leads up to the parish church of St. Mary, whose churchyard on Whitby's east cliff gave Brian Stoker the inspiration to write his world famous book, Dracula. The first Whitby Jet Workshop was opened in Whitby in 1808 and that by 1850 there were 50. Clearly the rapid development of this new industry demanded a greater volume and a more reliable provision of jets than would have been available by beachcombing. Fortunes have been smoking kippers for over 137 years and is Whitby's only traditional smokehouse established in 1872 by William Fortune. Fortune's smokehouse and shop is one of Whitby's most famous attractions and they can both be found on the pretty and historic east side of Whitby, North Yorkshire. As you walk towards the smokehouse, the distinctive aroma will whet your appetite long before you even arrive at the smokehouse. Fortune's kippers are the only genuine, authentic Whitby kippers, because the Fortune family owned and run the only traditional smokehouse in Whitby. They only use bags of the finest oak chippings. 